X represents one asset in a pool, and Y represents the other. K is the result of the multiplication of these assets, and it always remains a constant. Let us go back to our example and put this in practice, E gold reached 120 BUSD on Binance, and in our pool, on Maya exchange, it is still 100 BUSD. The arbitrageur comes in. We have 50 E gold in our pool and 5000 BUSD, so the constant K is 250,000. The arbitrageur comes in and buys E gold for 480 BUSD. In other words, he inserts 480 BUSD into the pool, and will get an X amount of E-Gold back, as the formula will decide. We continue to solve the formula, and we conclude that the arbitrageur received approximately 4.38 E-Gold for his 480 BUSD. So, he paid an average of approximately 109.6 BUSD per E-Gold. But, the price of e-gold in the pool is already 120 BUSD, and we can check this by simply dividing the updated BUSD with the updated e-gold in the pool. The arbitrageur will sell the 4.38 e-gold that he bought at an average price of 109.6 BUSD per e-gold, for 120 BUSD on Binance, therefore making a 10.4 BUSD profit per e-gold, so a total profit of $45.55. It is as if you yourself, instead of just holding your assets, sold 4.38 of your e-gold to this trader, for 109.6 BUSD per coin, even though the real price was 120 BUSD per coin. We can check it, if you were to withdraw your liquidity after this arbitrage, since in our example you own the whole pool, you get back the e-gold and BUSD that are now in the pool, so approximately 45.62 e-gold, and 5480 BUSD. Since the price of 1 e-gold is now 120 BUSD, our total will come in at $10,954.40. But, if you just held onto your assets you would have had $11,000. So, you would have had $45.60 more in your balance, had you just held onto your assets instead of providing them to liquidity. Exactly the profit that the arbitrageur made. I hope it all makes sense now. Until next time.